Hello everyone, welcome back to more DDLC Plus. I am prepared, just in case. Um, I have, uh, I'm hoping that this is enough <laughs> uh, to uh, deal with any issues from YouTube. Um, but I have this nice little thing here to more or less block the screen this episode just in case that is something that I have to worry about um because I suspect I will need to because I know what's coming and I also know that it's after this <laughs> um if not if I don't have to worry about this episode and it ends up being next episode great whatever I don't care but I was like I gotta make sure I have something you know Mostly the middle of the screen, if I remember. So, you know, that, that, that's how I did it. I wanted to try and create something that hopefully would prevent, you know, YouTube from freaking out. But also would prevent me from having to go in and edit and, like, figure out how to still make the text box visible and whatnot. Um, just because I know YouTube is being, you know... A little scared of stuff understandably um, it's a video game so you would think that that would be you know, it's like it's the idea of like video game blood versus real life it's like they, they wouldn't let you post a video of you know doing something horrible obviously but you can do exactly that in video games and it's perfectly okay right and like it doesn't make sense so it's already sunday i've been getting increasingly anxious about netsuki's upcoming visit i keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous but it doesn't help much I wonder if she'll act any different when it's just the two of us meanwhile she's been texting me a lot send each other we send each other one after Oh, we send each other one after exchanging numbers to double check, but it turned into conversation. That confused me for a second. She's almost a different personality on the phone, using tons of emoji and cute language. She also really likes complaining about things, but I kind of saw that one coming. But putting Natsuki aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. Not like we text each other all the time or anything. I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? I decide to visit Sayori before Natsuki comes over. Other than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I read Say read Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. I actually had a friend like that. Um, it, it was funny because he had like a... It, it started with him having like a unique knock. And we were like, oh, we know who that is. And then after we had known him for like five or so years, he would just walk in the house whenever he wanted, you know, he would just, he'd just come over and he'd just be like, I'm, you know, while he walk in, no problem. So it, it was interesting to say the least. Anyway, uh, let's see. The house is quiet. Siori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. Head up to her bedroom, where I finally find her. Sayori? Hi, Serene. I sit down in her room. God, I actually got nervous for a second. Like, I knew this about, like, I, I knew this wasn't the scene. But I'm going like, wait a minute. <laughs> this isn't the, this is the scene, right? <laughs> Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Ah, I guess you're right. 
It has been a long time. How much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is, a, is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she'd had for years now. He, <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Natsuki today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Sayori had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. I didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Natsuki then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, and something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Sayori smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Serene. Huh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. He, <laughs> Sayori. Perhaps Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Till I know I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. Uh, haha. <laughs> Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Serene. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? He, <laughs> you're really just gonna make me say it, aren't you, Serene? Because I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? God, and I know that this is going to just destroy me too because this is literally how I feel. Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy without anyone worrying about me. This music also, every time it starts playing, like every time I'm listening to the soundtrack and it starts playing, I like start crying because I, I know everything about this section and I've like dealt with exactly these feelings and it's terrible. I'm in shock. Can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? She really wants so badly for me to just not think about her. And this is the other thing. I cannot tell you how many people I have talked to that I will mention, like, I have crippling depression. I score a 28 out of 30 on a depression test every single time. And they're like, you have depression? I'm like, uh, is it really? Like, I, I the, the sad part is there's something about depression that hides itself unless somebody knows that you're dealing with it. And I, I don't know what it is or how it does it, but it hides itself. 
and you just won't know. Like, people looking at you won't know that you're dealing with depression unless you say it. And then it's always, I didn't know you had depression. You, or, you deal with depression? That's a shock. Or, you know, that's some, some, like, method of surprise. And I'm just like, how is it that when you don't know somebody has depression, you just don't see it? It's just completely invisible, you know? And I wish I had some idea, some, like, knowledge about how that happens or why. Because it's scary. Like, legitimately, it is scary. There's just something about depression that hides itself. You know? Once you know you can start to see it, but it, when you don't know, for some odd reason, somehow, it's just impossible to see. I don't know. Um, why, Sayori? Eh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Now, you never want to say that. Oh, my God. This protagonist does not know what he's saying. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. And that's also exactly the opposite of what somebody going through depression wants. Because what the, the, the problem is, is that depression says, look, you're worthless, you're useless. You're not. But that's what it says. And so then to have somebody come in and be like, you're depressed? Oh, well, let me work even harder in that case to help you. Work even harder to show that I care about you. And it has the exact opposite effect where as soon as they know that you're doing that, it makes it worse. It makes you start going, well, I shouldn't have said that because I'm worthless as it is. You know, they were already treating me fine. In fact, they were treating me too well. And now they're just treating me even, like, better. And, like, they shouldn't do that. Like, it legitimately makes it worse. But I don't know what could, what can be done about that. You know? Because it really is, like... The, the more that you show somebody that you care, that they're not worthless, that they're, you know, all of this, somehow that gets into your brain and just makes it worse. You know? <laughs> like, the, the worst thing that you... the. Some of the worst things that you can say to a depressed person is stuff like, well, have you tried not being depressed? God, freaking... Or like, well, don't be so bummed. You know, I'm here. It's like, you know, these things that you say that should cheer up a person, for some odd reason, it makes you feel worse, you know? All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Serene. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. 
It's bittersweet, but when people try to care about me, it feels nice sometimes, but also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then, I discovered something else, too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club it feels like a spirit going through my heart. So that's why, that's why I decide the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Serene. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. Ah! The, ah! Serene, Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If, it, if I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Serene, Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Serene, I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want, if all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you, if you, have it in you to call yourself selfish... And you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. If there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Serene. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. That's really scary, too. Sayori lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. And the festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend... How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um... Ah... It's what I want. I promise. I... I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sayori wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. If all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Natsuki to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? That would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Ah, uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. 
But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Natsuki is about to come over too. I think Sayori is right. Shouldn't be worrying too much. We're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. So just focus on what's ahead of me. Spend only a few minutes back at home anxiously awaiting Natsuki's arrival. Apparently, I have the same house as Sayori. <laughs> Before I know it, she texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. Without delay, I open the door to let her in. Sup? Hey. I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki in something other than her school uniform totally threw me off. Seeing her in such cute clothes makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. Jeez, don't make it so, feel so awkward. All, don't make it feel so awkward already. I, like, I, I wanted to hide you eye and actually get a look at Natsuki. It's going to be a long afternoon. So don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. I see you brought a lot of stuff. Atsuki is carrying a large bag that's probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all the way to find out that your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. You bought everything I asked to, right? Yeah, I did. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. Good. Seriously? This freaking cat, I tell ya. Glad I could count on you to do your part. Well, of course. Surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that, rather than something snarky like she usually does. Could it be that she's a little different outside of school after all? <gasps> anyway, let's go to the kitchen. What? You're not even going to offer to take this heavy bag from, from me? Where's your hospitality, Serene? But come on. Since when did I need to be a gentleman? To grab the bag Natsuki holds out to me. Ugh. This is ridiculously heavy. <laughs> I carried that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see now. Yeah, I am impressed, Natsuki. Seems like I always underestimate you. Hehehe. <laughs> it's because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. Natsuki hits a fist into my chest. Hey, hey! Your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? Eh? Um, it's not like I hate it. I mean... Sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm worth my size. It's fun when I get to be small and also better than other people. But, geez, never mind. What are, we, what are you making me say? Don't think you can make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school. Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that was. Well, I don't know what that was. What? There's a little bit... That's a little bit more like you. More fun when you just speak your mind like that. Hey, now, now you are treating me like a kid. I'm just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know. Just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri doesn't mean you should treat me like... Ah! Natsuki catches her words and her face turns red. Natsuki! Forget it! I didn't say anything. I should apologize. I should apologize. Eh? I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. Should have been a little more considerate, too. But also, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are into body types like yours. Ah! How would you know that anyway? Just trust me on this one. Gross. Hey! Is that to me? Who else? Man! Let's just get started already. Ha <laughs> ha! You get all sour when a girl calls you gross. Finally found your weakness, Serene. Natsuki smiles deviously. Please, spare me! Well, if Natsuki decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm not fighting back. But she's satisfied enough for now. Finally starting to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. I think I read that wrong. <laughs> I have this thing about reading these wrong. But she's satisfied enough for now, finally starting. Yeah, I think I put an if, an if in there on accident. Like, I, I, I legitimately think I said the word if she is. 
without even thinking. So that was hilarious. Hilarious, in case I didn't come through because I turned around for a second. I was just, I desperately need a drink. And normally, I would like pause, but I was saying something. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, that, that's, that's the biggest issue. It's like, do I stop talking just so I can pause? I don't, I don't have an answer to that. Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flour, spilled fluid, and plastic bags are strewn about every countertop. Not that kind of fluid. The mixture isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we've had to do it several times. Meanwhile, Natsuki is babysitting all of my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious baking. Serene, where did you put the food coloring? The batter is going in the oven soon, so I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? To color the batter, of course. I'm making each tray a different color. That way, even if the flavors aren't different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Ah, that's a cute idea. Are we doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Ah, but you're asking me. I don't really have a preference, so... Come on! I'm not putting any heart into this at all. Can't you at least try to have fun? I am having fun. I'm not really sure what Natsuki is trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, I see her separate the batter into smaller bowls and put a few drops of food coloring into each. Ah, that does look pretty cool. See? It's not like baking, it's just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times w more worth it in the end. If, if... <sighs> I have an issue with reading. <laughs> Freaking visual novels destroy my capability to read. I'm not kidding. It's a million times more worth it in the end if just looking at it makes everyone's eyes lighten up. Like the ones you made on my first day, huh? I recall Natsuki proudly presenting her cat-shaped cupcakes and Sayori and Monica's delayed expressions. What if I can make Natsuki proud like that too? Yeah, maybe I will use the food coloring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. We're using the electric mixer for the batter, so I got stuck with a whisk and a huge bowl for the icing. Eh? The icing's still all lumpy. Are you even trying? Well, yeah. It'll just take a little longer. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do it like that. Here, look. Natsuki grabs the whisk from me and uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. You really need to beat the crap out of it! After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. See? As if to emphasize, Natsuki sticks a finger in the icing and pops it in her mouth. I reluctantly start to do the same. Hey! Natsuki, Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist. I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Your icing, eh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? I start to fight back, trying to inch my finger toward the bowl. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next. I'd like to see you try. I push harder, just enough for my finger to reach the icing. I triumphantly scoop some with my finger, just as Natsuki tugs with all her might. Ah! The force of Natsuki pulling me causes me to stumble, making her stumble in turn. Gross! She got it on my face. Whose fault is that? There's a big glob of icing on Natsuki's cheek. Mm. She tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. Jeez. You know what? Take this. Natsuki instead wipes it off with her finger before shoving her finger toward my own face. You wish. I'm faster. I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Natsuki tries to use her 
other hand to fight back, but I grabbed that one as well. <laughs> stop! Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine. I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I didn't, don't mean it. Obviously, I have to grab that picture. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You do that to me all the time, you know. Saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. Take that Suki's finger and put it in my mouth, licking off the icing. Oh, hey, the icing did actually go away. How about that? You'd be surprised how many visual novels don't change things. So, what? Did, did you seriously just... Ah! That Suki is so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. Serene, you really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. You know that, right? What kind of question is she asking me just like that? How did the mood turn to this so quickly? I... Natsuki gazes at, gazes at me in silence. I notice her shallow breaths. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? Eh? Out of nowhere, the fire alarm starts going off. Natsuki rushes over to the oven. Something burning? Thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. <coughs> no wonder. You left a dirty tray in here, dummy. How could you make a mistake like that? Should have checked before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for your mistakes. Jeez. Atsuki uses an oven mitt to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. She sets it on top of the stove. In another moment, the fire alarm stops. Anyway, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. Tension for the moment before still lingers over our heads. For the moment, has already been lost. I watch as Atsuki slides the cupcake trays into the oven. Then, I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing like nothing ever happened. Ah, that smells so good! The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Atsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet-smelling warm air fills the room. Look at how cute they all look. She proudly shows off the different the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. <laughs> They'll look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. Natsuki hands me some plastic bags. I have these nozzles that will make it look nice and fluffy. This one can even make flowers. Probably won't be using it this time, though. What's this one for? Pick up one of the nozzles that has a much thinner tip than the others. That one's really thin, so you can use it to make stripes or other patterns. But you can also use it to write stuff on a cake. Like, happy birthday or whatever. Huh, I see. That gives me an idea, actually. Eh? Well, it's a literature event, right? We could make it more literature themed by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It would be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on a word they like. Ooh! Hmm? I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid. But that's actually a really cute idea, so... <laughs> uh, but I'm getting it from you. But what's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on, we're not at school. Nobody's judging. You can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. Uh, well... Natsuki's voice trails off. Same with you. Eh? Did you say something? No, nothing. Let's just do the icing. Natsuki picks up the pace and fastens the nozzle onto each of the bags. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Without giving me a chance to think, uh, think about, without giving me a chance to think about before, <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, th th okay, this one is not me. <laughs> without giving me a chance to think about before, Natsuki quickly moves on. I'm surprised none of these typos that I'm finding have ever been like fixed. 
It is what it is. Shows me how to apply the icing, and then we get, and then we each get to work. When we're finally finished, Natsuki puts them all side by side to admire our work. Look how pretty they are together. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Ugh, I wish I could have one now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but... My dad's making dinner, so I really need to save my appetite. <laughs> so where's the exact opposite in that regard? If she were here, we'd probably be down ten cupcakes already. She was, and she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Well, anyway, I was hoping we would have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. Uh, already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. Should have thought about that. It's not like you'll always have this chance. Man, as usual, Natsuki places the blame on me. So you can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Sayori each carry some, then you can probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. And don't worry, I won't let her eat any. Haha, <laughs> I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Ah, uh, yeah. I again think back to the conversation I had with Sayori earlier today. I felt so helpless. Sayori always does listen. Sayori always does listen to me. But at that point, it felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. I'll walk you out, I guess. Just like that, Natsuki is already about to leave. Mouse, thank you. Feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. More than that, did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her like I wanted? Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki? Eh? What you said before about not always having this chance? It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. Showed me how fun baking can be, like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over any time, okay? Think that if possible, I like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere, um, do you really mean that? Hatsuki looks at me tensely, like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah. Sorry, my freaking hair is being a pain today. I want to spend more time with you. Serene, I thought you only cared about getting this done. Ooh, I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I'd really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, so... Natsuki suddenly gets closer to me. Wait, Natsuki? Turning inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel her fingers gently clutch at the sides of my shirt, as if holding on to me. The rose-colored cheeks and matching eyes fill my vision, along with her slightly parted lips. What is happening? My head starts to go dizzy as I feel her soft breath against me. I felt it for a while now. Eh. Hatsuki suddenly jumps back. Sayori? Eh? Ah. Oh, hi, Sayori. Well, this is an awkward situation. Oopsie. Hi, Serene. This is... This is... This is a little bit awkward. I, uh... I, I don't think, uh... This, I don't think this is a good thing. Sayori! Just now, we weren't... <laughs> it's okay, Serene. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, well... You should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so... Aw, oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well... I'll see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any cupcakes before then. Anyway, later... Clearly flustered, Hatsuki hurries off, and Sayori waves goodbye. Sayori! I thought you didn't want to come over today. Uh, well, I tried staying in my room. 
But my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with that Suki. How close you got to her. It makes me really happy that you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. And that's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Serene? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, Serene. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Sayori, what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't a burden. Your isn't the isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So, so even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Serene. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like... like you too much. I did this to myself. Serene, I like you so much I want to die. That's how I feel. And... and... That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. I read that weird, but I think I got it right still. Remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give to you. Sayori... Obviously, we have to pick this, so... Sorry, I love you. Eh? Those are my true feelings. So, there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. Spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, having fun with you every day, that helped me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side, then I know we'll both be happy. Serene. Suddenly, Sayori wraps her arms tightly around me. Serene, is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Sayori in my arms and pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Serene. I want to be with you forever. Me too. Feel Sayori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this? Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now, I want the rain clouds go away. They're not going away at all, Serene. It's okay, Sayori. Might take some time for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Okay. I trust you. Teori and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? Hehe. <laughs> what are you saying? I want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it always has been. Even if we really are a couple. Don't know if I can handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. But go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Serene? Sayori gazed at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? 
Huh? I don't really understand what Sayori means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Sayori? I, I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. I felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you loved me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah, I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her and she loves me. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will come to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But I know that I'll give it everything I've got. Sayori is the most important person to me. I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. Oh boy. It's the day of the festival. I know what's about to happen. This is the, this is the, this, this is the moment. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little much, a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. I managed to carry all the cupcakes myself by carefully stacking two trays. Hatsuki's already texting up a storm, but I can't respond thanks to my hands being full. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Natsuki at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. It's a read. You're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. Thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. It must be the ones she prepared that have all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You think that on days this important she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful. I mean, it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But, maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all? Ha! Huh. You should take a little responsibility for her, Serene. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. She kind of left her hanging this morning, you know. Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. But, I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? There were a couple now? I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez, you don't know the whole full story at all, so... Don't worry, probably know a lot more than you think. Huh? Monica's being as friendly as usual. For some odd reason, I feel a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. I mean, do I need to read this one? <laughs> Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Ah! What is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Serene? What's wrong? Nothing. 
This poem feels completely different from everything else I've always written. But more than that, I changed my mind. I'm gonna go get Sayori, so... Ah, well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Naka calls that out after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simplest gesture of walking her to school makes her feel ha makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. It's all she needs and what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. I'm going to go ahead and click on this right about now because this is most likely uh, when I'm going to need it. What if I do this? Ooh. <laughs> I can change. I didn't know that I could do this. This is cool. Oh, that's really... What the frick is that? Oh, my goodness. Sorry, I know I'm technically probably ruining the mood, but I am okay with this. Because I just want to ensure that there is no way that YouTube gets mad at me for anything. So, I'm just gonna... In fact, I, I, <laughs> I did all of this work to try to, like, preserve the text box and stuff. And I'm going to end up, uh, just because I'm a little worried, I'm going to do this. Then you really can't see anything. So, if anybody actually wants, I mean, th th I'm sure there's videos of this. Or, you know, you can also play the game yourself, so. Sayori? <laughs> that, wow, that looks weird. She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. Can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. That really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Say oh. Well. The exception has occurred. Wild Game Script Chapter 5 R RPY Line 307 What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. So I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. Yeah, you really can't see anything, which is good. Um, I mean, I guess it's okay now, because it's got, what the heck? That's interesting. Huh. It like, because it's black, it like hides. Also, yes, the scene is past, I think. I think I'm going to keep one blur up, just in case, until this whole section is over. But it has gone black at this point. Let's press the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayori I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best, and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her? I shouldn't have confessed to her. It's not what Sayori needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. 
And why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and remained friends with her like it always has been, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can, nothing I do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset, try something different. I mean, I do have that ability. <laughs> Uh, file error. Characters. Sayori dot character. The file is missing or corrupt. The same file is corrupt. Starting a new game. Oh, I've never actually seen anybody try to do that. Rip our save files. All of them are gone. Um, that's some text. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to anything she might draw to herself. That girl is my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this. Starting around high school, she would oversleep more. More and more frequently. I would get tired of waiting up. If she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let catch up to me. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Start a new game. Achievement unlocked. Oh, uh, boy. All right, well, I think I'm going to go ahead <laughs> and remove the same file I just made. That's hilarious. I love that. I think we go ahead and end things off here. Because, uh, yes, I, I th that, that was, you know, the moment. Um, we have some pictures. Well, did, 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 does anybody want to see see some pictures? You know, just 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 some pictures. Actually, I am kind of glad that that scene is not in here. It looks like here's like Nats Natsuki, Natsuki or Natsuki. Acquisition procedure reply: I love you to Sayori's confession. The problem is you can't see, like, the other, like, I, I, I can't see, like, these to see, you know, how to get them. Um, I think this is going to be Natsuki, and then that's the second Yuri, and then that's the second Natsuki, and then this is Yuri, and then that's Natsuki, and that's Sayori. I don't know about any of these other ones, though. Here's I'll Be Your Beach. Um, this one is The Lady Who Knows Everything. So, yeah. There, th there's some pictures. Um, I like that. Those are cute. Artwork drawn by Seth Shelley to celebrate Valentine's Day 2019. Select the word kawaii during the poem game. How about that? I bet there's others up here that are the same. You have to select, like, certain words. So, that's my guess. Also, I know that by loading, I unfortunately didn't get the, like, glitched. Oh, never mind. It, it, it's still there. I was going to say I didn't get the glitched, like, um title screen, but actually it is still here. I thought it would remove the uh, the glitch here. 
But maybe I have to get further in, or maybe that just doesn't go away at all. I don't know. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> I gotta say, the, the gradient definitely worked. I don't know that I need to go that hard with it next time, though. Based off of what I'm seeing here. But, whatever. In either case, uh, I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, feel free to subscribe. You can check the playlist so that you can get caught up on any episodes you might have missed. Um, there's also links to Patreon and Discord. Feel free to come on out, hang out with us, chat, and all of that. As well as get some previews for the game I am making myself. Um, after all... I'm sure that you would love to see, uh, you know, stuff. Um, I was gonna just like pop something up just for the heck of it to be like, look, th th you know, this is the like one preview, but like, I, I put myself on the spot. There we go. There, there, there's a preview. There's a preview of the game I'm making. And you can see this and more over on my Patreon. So, feel free to check that out. Get your name right here in the credits. And with that, I'll see you all next time. See you later. But seriously though, that's just really creepy. <laughs> That's so creepy. Like, what the heck?